Sairam students today we are going to start with a new chapter that is chapter 2 number work in our last session we had already seen what are numbers numbers are 1 2 3 and so on now till fourth standard you had learned about uh, various things that is one digit number that is one two digit number means it contains two numbers that is 12 1 and 2 Three digit number means it contains three digits. That is one, two, and three. Four digit number means one, two, three, four. So it is containing four digits. Five digit number that is one, two, three, four, and five. So it contains five digits. So next we are going to see. You had already learnt about twelve thousand three hundred and forty five. This is the number. Now. One is in ten thousands place, two is in thousands place, three is in hundreds place, four is in tens place, and five is in units place. So that is the reason we read this figure as twelve thousand three hundred and forty-five. Now, you have already learned about how to write in figures and how to write it in words. Now, suppose if I take the figure 1 it will be written as in words as 1 then figure 12 it will be then written in words 123 you will write it in words 1234 again you will write it in words and then 12345 you will write this in words so this was all what you had been learned till fourth standard so let us revise this again with the help of the problem set 2 now in the problem set 2 the first question is using the digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 write 10 each of 2 3 4 and 5 digit numbers and you have to read the numbers so they have given you 10 digits that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 9 so what you have to do first you have to make two digit number then you have to make three digit number then four digit number and then five digit number so like this you have to make 10 numbers so first we'll start with the two digit number two digit number means it will contain two numbers so 1 0 that is 10 then 2 5 25 5 6 56 2 3 23 4 5 that is 45 7 2 that is 72 then 67 89 45 90 so you can see in this two digit number everywhere there are only two numbers so now we'll go for the three digit number so three digit number means it will contain three numbers so first number is 103 250 562 fourth number is 231 fifth number is Four hundred and fifty-six. Sixth number is seven hundred and twenty-nine. Seventh number is six hundred and seventy-three. Eighth number is eight hundred and ninety. Ninth number is four hundred and fifty-two. Tenth number is nine hundred and one. So all these three-digit numbers they are containing three numbers. Now let us go to the four-digit number. four digit number means the it will contain four numbers so 1034 second number is 2501 third number is 5627 fourth number is 2319 fifth number is 4562 sixth number is 7290 Seventh number is six thousand seven hundred thirty-one. Eighth number is eight thousand nine hundred three. 
ninth number is four thousand five hundred twenty eight and tenth number is nine thousand fourteen now let us go to the five digit numbers so it is first number is ten thousand three hundred and forty two second number is twenty five thousand sixteen third number is fifty six thousand two hundred and seventy four fourth number is twenty three thousand one hundred ninety seven fifth number is forty five thousand six hundred and twenty one sixth number is seventy two thousand nine hundred and eight seventh number is sixty seven thousand three hundred and eighteen eighth number is eighty nine thousand and thirty four ninth number is forty five thousand two hundred and eighty one and the tenth number is ninety thousand one hundred and forty seven so students it is not necessary that you have to write these numbers only you can make any numbers of your choice but you should see that they are containing two digits three digits four digits and five digit numbers so the next question is fill in the blanks in the table below so three columns are given with devanagari numerals international numerals and the number written in words so first one has been already done for you in the textbook so the devanagari numeral is 2359 and the international numeral is 2359 so you have to write it in words as 2359 next one is the devanagari numeral is given as 32756 so you have to fill in the blank with the international numeral as Three two seven five six. So the number written in word is thirty two thousand seven hundred and fifty six. Now you have to fill in the blank with the Devanagari numeral, and the international numeral is given as six seven eight five nine. So fill in the blank with Devanagari numeral is saha saat art paats no. that means 67859 that you have to write it in words the next devanagari numeral is 1034 so the international numeral is 1034 so you will write it in words as 1034 next the number written in words is already been given 27895 so you will fill in the blank the devanagari numeral as 27895 and the international numeral is 27895 so devanagari numeral is a script which is used in indian language for sanskrit hindi marathi and so on we'll go to the next question as a part of the avoid plastic project jilla parishad schools made and provided paper bags to provision stores and groceries read the taluka wise numbers of the bags and write the numbers in words so the name of the places has been given and below that the number of paper bags which has been provided that is given so kopargaon has been given 12740 so how will you read it as 12740 bags next shevgaon is given as 28095 bags that is 28095 next is given as karjat you will read it as 31068 that is 31068 bags next is sangam neer 10972 so you will read it as 10972 bags let us move to the fourth question how many rupees do they make so 20 notes of 1000 rupees 5 notes of 100 rupees and 14 notes of 10 rupees so we will do this question step by step what is the first part 20 notes of 1000 rupees 
so you are going to do 20 into 1000 so it will become 20,000 next part is 5 notes of 100 rupees so what you are going to do 5 into 100 it will become as 500 next part is 14 notes of 10 rupees so you are going to do 14 into 10 that is 140 so now you are going to arrange all these numbers for addition so first is 20 notes of 20,000 rupees that will become 20,000 5 notes of 100 rupees will come as 500 and 14 notes of 10 rupees will come as 140 so when you arrange them serially it will come as 20,640 rupees so now let's move to the next serial number 2 15 notes of 1000 rupees 12 notes of 100 rupees 8 notes of 10 rupees and 5 coins of 1 rupee so this question is similar to the first one again we will solve this question part by part first part is 15 notes of 1000 rupees so it will come as 15 into 1000 is equal to 15000 then is 12 notes of 100 rupees so 12 into 100 it will come as 1200 then 8 notes of 10 rupees so it will come as 8 into 10 that is 80 5 coins of 1 rupee so 5 into 1 it will come as 5 so we are going to arrange these numbers serially so first was 15000 second was 1200 third part was 80 and the fourth part was 5 so when you arrange them serially for addition you get it as 16285 rupees so i hope students you have understood this addition how to do it now let's move to the fifth question write the biggest and the smallest five digit numbers that can be made using the digits 4, 5, 0, 3, 7 only once. So what is the question? Five numbers are given 4, 5, 0, 3 and 7. You have to make the biggest five digit number and the smallest five digit number. Now biggest smallest uh, biggest five digit number means which is the biggest number in four five zero three and seven seven is the biggest number then comes five then comes four then comes three and then comes zero that means you are arranging it in the descending order so it will come as the biggest five digit number is seventy five thousand four hundred and 30. Now let us go for the smallest 5 digit number. So the smallest number you will say here is 0. But if we take 0, 3, 4, 5 and then 7 it will become only a 4 digit number because you cannot take any number as 0 as first. So that is the reason you will have to first take 3 as the first a number then 0 then 4 then 5 and then 7 so the smallest 5 digit number will be 30,457 remember students whenever like this question is being used and you are asked to write the smallest 5 digit number you will never take 0 as the first number let us move to the next question the names of some places and their populations are given below. Use this information to answer the questions that follow. So, name of the places is given in one table and the population is given in one table. So, the first place is Tala. So, the population is 40,642. Then is Gagan Bawda. 35,777 Morgao 
एटी सेवन थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेल्व वाशी नाइंटी टू थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी थ्री अष्टी सेवेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड वन भम भम्रगाड थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी बोधवाड नाइंटी वन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सिक्स वेल है फिफ्टी फोर थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड नाइन्टी सेवन एंड मोरवाड़ा एटी फाइव थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड नाइन्टी सो बेस्ड ऑन दीज पॉपुलेशन गिवन यू हैव टू आंसर द क्वेश्चन सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच प्लेस हैज द ग्रेटेस्ट पॉपुलेशन एंड वॉट इज इट्स पॉपुलेशन सो इफ यू सी द टेबल you have to again arrange these numbers in ascending order and then see which is the biggest number in it so when you arrange these numbers in the ascending order you will find out that the biggest number is 92173 so where where is 92173 given it is given against washi so you will answer the question as washi has the greatest population and its population is 92173 second question is which place morwada or morgaon has the greatest population again you will go back to the table and see where morwada is given the population is 85890 and where morgaon is given there the population is 87012 so what will be your answer your answer will be morgaon has the greatest population because morgaon is having the greatest number that is 87012 then morwada which is having 85000 Eight hundred ninety as the population. Let us go to the third question. Which place has the smallest population? How much is it? So now here you have to again go back to the table. And as I had told you, first we arrange the numbers in the ascending order. So ascending order means smaller number will come first. so if you see the population over here the smallest population is of the number 35777 so the place name is gaganbauda so you will write the answer as gaganbauda has the smallest population and the population is 35777 so students i hope you have understood the problem set to whatever we have learned we had just revised what you have learned in the fourth standard first we saw about how to write it in figures and words with the devanagari numerals then we saw about how to write the smallest five digit number the biggest five digit number then a table was given wherein the different population was given and you were supposed to answer the questions so students uh, there is an assignment given which i request you to do it uh, after uh, listening to this video so we'll meet in the next session till then goodbye